here today to talk about your uh, severe rheumatoid arthritis, which has been giving you trouble these last few months, and to offer you a certain treatment option. Um, it's called infleximab, um, also known as Remicade. And to kind of give you a little general overview of it, um, it works by blocking the actions of a particular natural substance called tumor necrosis factor alpha, which is in your body. Um, and this helps to decrease inflammation and weaken your immune system, um, stopping or slowing the damage from the disease. Um, and so the medication is given by an injection into a vein for about two hours, um, and it's called an infusion. Um, so this video is to kind of give you a basic overview of the procedure, um, the treatment, the found advantages and outcomes, and the side effects to help you better understand the treatment as a whole. I'm, I'm just going to go over a basic procedure, what happens when you come in for your infusion process to kind of draw you a general picture of what will all happen. At the beginning of the infusion, a nurse will come in and check for your general health. This includes taking your blood pressure, your pulse, your respiration, your temperature, and your weight. Weight is a very important aspect of this because it is used to calculate the correct amount of Remicade you will receive for your treatment. Um, and then all these vitals will happen every time you come in for your infusion to check for any changes in your health since the last infusion. Um, next, a nurse will uh, ask you to mention any medications you are currently taking and any allergic reactions or infections that you might have had. And if you're returning, inform the nurse of all illnesses or changes in your health since the last infusion. Uh, before the infusion, you may be given a pre-medication to, to prevent or reduce the risk of infusion reaction. So it's important to let the nurse know if you usually experience any side effects during the infusion process if this is not your first time. Um, next, an area in your arm will be cleaned with alcohol so a needle can be inserted. Um, a needle is used to start the IV and is removed when the IV tubing and bag of your remicade are connected at the IV site. Um, the medicine is then infused for two hours in which um, during the infusion, the nurse will come in and check periodically to um, monitor your infusion. If you experience any side effects or, um, during the infusion, it may need to be adjusted or stopped. At the end of the treatment, the IV will then be removed and you should be able to return to your normal routine if your doctor says it's okay. Um, one exception is if you were treated with an antihistamine, um, it may make you drowsy so it would be smart to have someone drive you home. Um, and then conclusively, if you experience any side effects or infections later on, make sure to call your daughter, doctor immediately. All right, so I'd like to elaborate a little on the, base, the basics of the treatment. Um, the recommended dose of Remicade, also known as infliximab, for severe active rheumatoid arthritis is 3 mg per kilogram at weeks 0, 2, and 6. And it was followed by a maintenance of 3 mg per kilogram every 8 weeks. In addition, it should be given in combination with the drug methotrexate. Uh, moving on to the found advantages and outcomes. I'm um, starting with the advantages. Um, it gets to work by going directly into the bloodstream, so it's more of an immediate response. Um, also, dosing varies by condition, but you may only have to receive the treatment once every eight weeks um, after three starter doses, so it's relatively a low maintenance. Um, and then moving on to different outcomes, um, it helps remove the pain, stiffness, and swelling in some patients in as little as two weeks. And also, it might help stop further nerve damage. All right, so I'd like to conclude this video by talking about um, various side effects that have been seen among patients who have been treated with infleximab or Remicade. Uh, the more common side effects with Remicade are respiratory infections, including sinus infection and sore throat. Um, in addition, headache, rash, coughing, and stomach pain are also common side effects of the treatment. Uh, moving on to the more serious side effects. Um, serious infection is a huge one because infleximab weakens your immunity and infections including active tuberculosis, invasive fungal infections, bacterial, viral, and other infections are common effects of the treatment. Um, and to throw you a few signs um, of infection, um, they include fever, chills, night sweats, persistent coughing and sore throat, trouble breathing, painful and frequent urination, white patches in the mouth, or for females, vaginal discharge. Um, another category of side effects include malignancies, um, specifically lymphoma um, and other malignancies have been reported in children and adolescent patients treated with TNF blockers, including Remicade. Uh, next, heptotoxicity is another side effect that has been seen among treatment. Um, this includes severe heptic reactions, including active liver failure, jaundice, hepatitis, and cholestasis have been reported rarely in patients receiving Remicade. Um, and to wrap up, um, other side effects are found in the categories of hepatologic and neurological events, hepatitis B reinactivation, hypersensitivity, autoimmunity, adverse reactions, use with other drugs, 
li live vaccines and therapeutic inf infectious agents. And if you decide to receive the treatment of infleximab, contact your doctor if you have if you experience any of these or other side effects. It's very important. And for more information, contact your doctor or visit the official website of Remicade or Infleximab. For more information, thank you very much.